the first honorable mention um, I have is one that may get you if you're looking at the sold listings, but I'll put it up. This is uh, Vagabond, volume 1 through 37, was listed for what would be $1,926.72. Uh, Viz Media 2002. Now, if this had actually sold, it would have been our number one collection by far. Uh, but the thing is, it didn't actually sell, it ended, which means the seller basically, for whatever reason, ended the, uh, the listing. Don't be too uh, put off by this. There's a website called Terapeak, and it's through eBay, and it lists the sales. So this $1,900 isn't actually too far away from what these normally sell for. Anyway, so now that we know the difference between uh, ended and sold, even though this was in the sold listings, that's why you got to be careful. Uh, honorable mention number two, Allison Murderland, volumes one through 11, $329.95. That's like about 30 bucks per book. Yen Press 2015. Speaking of another smaller size series, uh, honorable mention number three, it's the Saturn Apartments, volumes one through seven, $374. That's like $53.43 per book. Viz Media 2010, another beloved, very small series. Honorable mention number four, um, I've had volume 14 of, of this uh, number of times cracked the top 10 for singles, but it's Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches volumes 1 through 28. All the whole run went for $500. This is from Kadansha Comics back in 2015. An honorable mention number five uh, is a series we've had on listed uh, a number of times before over the past year, uh, but this is the danger of listing high price collections. Uh, at auction as opposed to buy it now. This is Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic, volumes 1 through 37. The whole kit and caboodle uh, had 12 bids, went for $510, which is still really respectable. But anyway, this is Viz Media 2013. And if, if somebody bought this for cover price back in the day, uh, you know, 510 is definitely respectable, but I've definitely seen these go for more as well. We'll get into that more later. Okay, here's the actual top five collections of the week. Number five, uh, we've had singles of this uh, make the top ten a number of times, but this is Ranma One Half, the two-in-one editions, which covers volumes one through 38, so it's only 19 books, because they're two-in-ones, of course. $549.95, that's like $28.94 per book, Viz Media 2014. Number four is one I'm seeing a lot of in collections. It's Berserk, volumes 1 through 14 of the Deluxe Edition. These are still sealed. This went for $610.13 US, Dark Horse 2019. At number three, uh, we had this collection last week, sold for like a couple dollars less, actually. It's a fairy tale. Box sets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So that's 63 books, $616.55 US. Kadansha Comics, 2012. Good to see some uh, fairy tale getting some love here. Uh, number two, I think this is the first time we've had this sell as a collection, but it's Please Save My Earth. Volumes 1 through 21, $750. $35.71 per book, Viz Media 2003. Uh, number one, and it is the most expensive English language manga collection uh, there is Basra volumes 1 through 27 went for $1,750 but the thing is this was an auction and it literally only had one bid so even still that's like $64.81 per volume again Basra just proving it is the most expensive English language manga collection there is right now. All right, let's jump into the singles. Um, it was a fairly, it was a good week, but we didn't have any huge sellers, right? Um, just to get into a little bit before I started announcing them, uh, literally number 10 was at $120, uh, but we did have ties. So the, the actual true top 10 started at about 135 
but it only went up to 270. There was no like super duper crazy valuable uh, one in five thousands or anything like that this week. But still, it was pretty good, like a lot of solid books. So anyways, uh, five honorable mentions. First one, the one that got away. Flesh Colored Horror. This is the uh, Jinji Ito collection from Comics 1 back in 2005. Was listed for $174.99. Best offer accepted. Honorable mention number two. I'm not exactly sure if this is a valuable book or not, but Hunter Hunter, volume 33, went for $80. This is Viz Media 2017. Hey, one sold for $80, so I thought I'd bring it up. Honorable mention number three is basically here. It's a valuable book, but the reason it's uh, extremely valuable in this listing is because it's still sealed. This is Battle Royale Ultimate Edition. Volume 3 went for $99.99. Tokyo Pop 2008. Normally, volume four and five of this are the ones that are really expensive. Honorable mention number four. Uh, again, you know, this is a valuable uh, series as well. Uh, we've had it on the top five collections as well. So it just goes to show you that, yes, indeed, there are some expensive individual volumes here. This is Initial D, volume 28, $100, Tokyo Pop 2007. And my final honorable mention at number five is another one of those naughty books. It's Please Freeze, Please, $119. This is from J18. Okay, here we go into the top ten. And yes, we did have some ties this week. Uh, actually, I think I had three sets of ties, believe it or not. But at number ten all by itself is Mushishi, Volume 5, $120, Delray, 2008. At uh, number nine, again all by itself, it's our old friend, Umineko, When They Cry, episode eight, volume three, $124.95. This is Yen Press 2020. Number eight is yet another naughty book. This is uh, Tayo Tayo. Went for $129. This is from FAKKU 2021. And I don't think this is the first time it's ever made the list, to be honest. So there you go. Number seven is an old friend of mine, Lupin the Third. Volume 13, $134.96, Tokyo Pop, 2004. There's a two-way tie at number six. Uh, let's give you the first one. This is k -On. High School. Went for $150, Yen Press, 2013. What is tied with it, number six, is one we haven't had for a long time. This is Corpse Party. Volume four, also $150, Yen Press, 2017. Okay, there's also a two-way tie at number five. Uh, the first one is actually Shonen Jump Magazine. Volume two, uh, this is still sealed, uh, went for $160, Viz Media 2003. The second listing at number five is you know, one of my favorites of all time. Tenjo Tenge, Full Contact Edition, Volume eight. Uh, this is sealed, but in the listing, there are a couple of splits in the seal, so it's not like airtight or anything like that. Uh, went for 160 bucks. Viz Media, 2012, but don't you just love that cover? Uh, number four is another Shonen Jump magazine. This time it's Shonen Jump magazine, volume one, sealed. $215.99, Viz Media, 2003. What's interesting to me, like the original Japanese Shonen Jump magazines um, basically are priced a lot like comics. So if we look at like a Shonen Jump 51 from Japan, which is the first Dragon Ball, that sucker's expensive. And it just went this week. English language manga, we're basically like a foreign language publication, right? So it's not the first appearance of anything. It's maybe the first time appearance in that language, but you know, so Shonen Jumps are the actual first appearance and some of those get expensive. I'll do another video on this at a, a different point, but uh, I just speaking of variants that uh, do get expensive at number three, My Hero Academia Volume 1, the 2018 San Diego Comic-Con variant $220.50. This is Viz Media 2018, and this actually had five bids on it. There's a tie at number two. We had two books go for $225. Um, first one, we see it 
quite often on the list. It is the most valuable uh, one of the series, and it's actually the second last. It's not the final volume, it's the second last volume of the run. It's Trigon Maximum, Volume 13, $225, Dark Horse 2008. What is tied with here at number two? Now, I showed you last week we had Volume 53 of this went for $75. Volume 42 went for a whole heck of a lot more this week. It's Case Closed, or Detective Conan. Volume 42, 225 bucks US, Viz Media 2013. And at number one, no strange to the list, it's an old favorite, Naruto Volume 1, the 2008 hardcover, $270, Viz Media 2008. So as usual, I'll put up the uh, spreadsheets. We'll start with collections. Uh, those Berserk, those deluxe editions, the sealed, those are selling like crazy. There's actually multiple sales of these. I just reported the one. Uh, it's good to see another boss for a go. Uh, this time it was only one bid, but still $1,750. Wow, that is astounding. Next, I'll jump to the uh, singles. As you can see, at number two, the one that just really surprised me was that case closed volume 42 that's the first time i've ever seen that go for like that kind of money so besides that it was also really interesting for me to see the uh the two shonen jumps uh volume one and volume two sealed go for that kind of money if there's any collectability in english language manga it might echo the japanese uh in the form of the shonen jump magazines. Anyways, uh, see y'all next week, and uh, man, I hope I'm feeling better by then. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.